So this is the review of the Veer stroller. I am no way sponsored by Veer. I paid for this on my own. No products were given to me. I purchased everything separately. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging with Chris. I am doing a review today of the Veer stroller wagon. And please be sure to like and subscribe. I have some more reviews coming up of different products and different things. And I just wanted to show everything that I have and give you a review on that. I have one rider, he is 70 pounds and he is 52 inches. I am going to use a doll for a little bit of it and then I'll have my son come out and we're gonna go ahead and do the, I'll put all the accessories in with the doll and then you can see my son in it. Um, I'm, this is the base model. This is what you get when you buy the Veer Cruiser Wagon. It is $599 and it is 37 inches long, 20 inches wide, and about 25 inches high. This fully extended, the handle fully extended, is about 41 inches. And it is supposed to weigh like 32 pounds. I believe it weighs a little bit more than that. Um, I did weigh it last night and it said it was more like 35 pounds. So, give or take. But for the base model, this is what you get. You get the wagon, the tray, and two cup holders. These cup holders can be moved to here, 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 or here. And you can also purchase extra cup holders so you can have some at all. But if you do put the cup holders on the rear or the front, you do have to take them off before you fold it. That is the only thing. Now, we live in Florida. We have sugar sand. That's all the sand we have. This does amazing. We took it to the beach and we've also, second trip, it went through the woods in Georgia. We got lost on a hiking trail and it did amazing. Um, I take it for daily walks up and down my sugar sand road. It has been really great, even at 70 pounds. Now, the weight limit for this is only 110 pounds. That is 55 pounds per seat. Now, my son does weigh 70 pounds and I still do push him while he's only in one seat. I have also sat in this wagon and had my son push me. So, it can handle it. Um, the, the wheels are more heavy duty than your normal wagon. Um, the front wheels are smaller wheels. They do rotate. They, however, do not lock. So you are not supposed to jog with this. It is not recommended by Veer that you jog with this because the wheels can do this and the stroller could flip. Um, however, it is a great wagon for the beach as you can remove the handle to pull like a wagon. Uh, I usually do not pull this wagon. I always push this wagon. When you push it, it is more of a pallet jack type of push. So you have to kind of get used to it, but it's very easy to get used to. I, I use it. My 12 year old loves pushing his little brother in it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go over some of the other things. Like I said, there's a 45 inch height limit is what they say. But again, my son is 52 inches and he still fits in it. Okay. Um, just over the last couple of months, he's grown a few inches. So he still fits in it. It's, you can wash this out with a hose. You don't have to really wash anything. The sidewalls are removable and they have 10 different colors available for the sidewalls. And you can buy extra sidewalls so that way you can be festive or do whatever you wanna do. Um, they also sell canopies and stuff like that. We're gonna go over those in just a few minutes. And um, we'll go over pricing and everything like that. But again, this is the base model. This is what you get for $5.99. It is definitely worth it. The all-terrain of it has definitely been the best feature because like I said we live in Florida it's sandy it's grassy it's dirt like that's all the Florida is and it goes over all that perfectly with my 70 pound kit in it I'll we'll come back in just a minute and I'm gonna have some of the accessories in here and I'll tell you the pricing of those so that way you can get a little bit better of a view on how everything looks all right see you in a few okay Okay, so this is the basket you can purchase separately. It is $59 and it has a zippered opening and you can either put stuff on top of it. We normally just stack our shoes and stuff on top, 
we don't normally, but when we went to the beach, I did stick a bunch of toys in here and then zipped it up and it seems to work perfectly. And when you put it on, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this wagon around so you can see. This is the rear of the wagon and it can only go over the back wheels. Um, it can only go on the back. Now, there's two pegs in the bottom of the wagon. There's, um, and they're easy to pull out. You just pop them out like so. And they're just little clips. And this little fun feature, they actually go into the basket um, so you don't lose them because we all know that we're gonna lose these if they're not stored somewhere. So there you go right in there. And it's very simple to pop this on. You just go like this. And there's a 15 pound weight limit of the basket. So it's 110 for the wagon, 15 for the basket. And again, the basket is $59, but it is easy to remove. Now also it will fold up when you fold the wagon up. That is the one accessory that can fold up with the wagon and the handlebar and it's still attached. So you do not have to attach, detach the basket every time. So you can go ahead and leave it on. Um, I always leave it on. It's That's pretty much been the first time it's probably been off. Um, but we use it a lot, especially when we go for walks, we stick our drinks in there and our snacks in there. And it seems to work fairly well for a lot of things. But like I said, it folds up into the wagon once I fold it. And I, when I go to fold it, I will show you how it folds with it on there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and review the canopies. I'm gonna stick the canopies on for you and then I'll do the seats because I want you to see the canopies on it. Again, pretty much the only accessory that can stay on this wagon when you fold it is that basket in those two cup holders. They can stay on, they have a tendency to pop off, but I haven't, I haven't had it happen, but my friends had it happen to them. So let me get this canopies and I will be back. Okay, so here are the canopies. They are the same fabric as the sidewalls and you can get matching canopies and matching sidewalls. There is a new print out. It is actually a surf print. It has a skull with a surfboard on it. And these canopies are $49 a piece. So you have to buy two. If you want full coverage, you have to buy two canopies. Uh, now, there is a sun visor that I do not have that zips into here that'll give you a little bit more fuller coverage, but I've noticed that it's really not necessary if you have two. So, and the sun visor is like $19, I think. So it's not super expensive, but I feel like you don't really need them if you have two canopies. Um, they do have uh, vents all the way around. And when you open this one, it's pretty much airflow is all the way around. Now my son loves the canopies. He is autistic. So he loves getting under the canopies, even though he's a little too tall. Um, he prefers it with the canopies on it. If I ask him, does he want to go for a ride with canopies or without canopies? He always says with, you just put it on the side and everything clips to the side. The snack tray, clips and these clip to the side and then there's little um, bungee cords on the back that actually go around those cup holders so this is with one canopy these are the little bungee cords and it just sits like this and like i said here's the vent there is a good vent like i said all the way around and also the seats are vented so it stays fairly cool in there even though it is a black frame, it doesn't seem to get too hot. The seats are actually rubber and there's um, inside, I didn't know if I showed you guys these, there's little snack trays. And then there's, again, there's a ton of pockets. My son normally sticks his cup in here because we have stopped using the tray. So here's the other canopy. I'm gonna pop it on for you. 
it's very easy to pop these on. I have not had one single problem, one single problem with popping these on. It seems to, um, they seem to stay on fairly well after you put them on. Again, though, you have to remove these to fold the stroller. Now, this is what it looks like with out the sun visors. The sun visors would go here and they probably would extend out to here. So if you want like a completely folded thing, I would definitely get the visors. Now there is a bug shield and there's also a weather cover and it goes, the weather cover goes completely over it and it like zips on the side. That is available for, the weather cover is $99. So it's a little bit more expensive but it's definitely worth it. Um, I do not have one as we don't really use this unless it's nice out. So I really didn't see the need for it. There is a bug net. The bug net actually goes from one canopy and it scoops down. So it goes like this <clears throat> and the bug net is $24. So, and I've thought about getting the bug net cause again, my son likes to be in dark places. So I feel like you could definitely work with that if you only had one canopy and okay so with these you can get custom with the sidewalls and these could run up to 59 dollars 49 to 59 dollars depending on what color they are and that goes for the side as well the sidewalls are extra sidewalls are 59 to 69 dollars due to them being custom again everything has to be purchased separately depending on what your needs are, I wouldn't recommend buying everything. I technically don't need the toddler seats as my son was five years old when I got the toddler seats, but he likes them because they're more cushiony and compared to the hard plastic of the seat and the rubber, he just prefers the more comfy seat, but it also makes him sit up higher and it also shortens the foot well, especially if I put both toddler seats on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you both toddler seats on. So that way you can see how that looks. And, um, again, I have my, <laughs> my little doll friend to help me with that. And I'll show you pretty much the foot. Well is about a, yeah, so it's about 12 by 20. The foot well is, but once you put the seats on, it shrinks it down to about six and a half inches. And so kids tend to fight for foot space once the toddler seats are on. That is my only downfall. That is why we, I only use one toddler seat when I use it. But again, I only have one rider. So I would recommend if you do buy this for two kids, maybe one sits in a toddler seat and one does not. So that way you have more footwell space. Um, I love the footwell. I have other wagons that do not have a footwell. The footwell is amazing and I definitely recommend it if you feel like your kids are going to be fighting over feet space. Um, however, my son has gotten taller and now that he is taller, this cannot stay on and him sit in here even without the, the toddler seats due to his legs being so long. And I'll show you guys that in just a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and put the seats on so you guys can see how that looks with the seats on. We'll be right back. Okay, so these are the toddler comfort seats. They are $79 a piece and they are, you have to purchase them separately. So for 79, you get one. So if you want to, it's going to be <laughs> two times 79. Um, they're also, I want to, this baby is actually about a three month baby and you're not supposed to put three month babies in this. It's about for six months, six months and up. There is a bassinet that you can put inside the veer that the way you can lay your baby down and it's more of a bassinet stroller and then that way they're also let me talk about real quick i almost forgot there is a car seat adapter for this i do not have it as i don't have any tiny babies so i didn't really need it um the car seat adapter connects here or here it's just like the tray or the canopies and then you just stick the car seat on top of it and then another kid can ride so i've seen plenty of people with a car seat and a toddler. So it works great for little babies. Um, it's, it's pretty much great for newborn and up. Again, I wouldn't like walk super fast with it, um, with a newborn in there, but that's just me. There is the 
bassinet is about $79. It's called the nap system. It's not really a bassinet. It's called the nap system. They don't really recommend that you use it for a bassinet. They recommend that you use it for just light use. So this baby again, this baby doll is about three months in size. It is recommended for this seat to use for kids that are six months and up, pretty much kids that can um, control their body when they're sitting up. So there is a three-point harness already in the veer. I actually remove these when I put in my toddler seats. These actually have never been used because I prefer the toddler seat. So the toddler seat has this little hook. It has this little hook and it hooks under the seat and then this part hooks around the folding mechanism that is on the back of the seat and these go through the rear of the seat to um, hold it down. I'm going to show you real quick how we can do this and it just slides right there like that. You fold it over the sides and you go just like this. And then you take the straps that are right here and you go around the back of the seat and it goes through this and you just Velcro it to it and then it's good to go. Like I said before, this is with two toddler seats in here. As you can see, the footwell goes about two inches, two or three inches under each seat. So kids tend to fight a little bit for foot space if there is two toddler seats in here. I prefer these toddler seats though due to the fact that they are like memory foam and the it's a five point harness as opposed to the three point harness that's in the veer. So if you feel like your kiddo is going to try to get out um, of the three point harness, I definitely recommend getting a toddler seat and just using it because it is the five point harness and it'll keep them safe and not be able to get out. So when you put the tray on, it looks like this and that's with the two toddler seats in and then when you go to put the canopy on it's pretty much the same thing like i said it makes the seat a little bit higher what i have learned though just recently actually that you can actually move this up a little bit to like right here and it actually makes it a little bit higher but it does not provide as much shade so I have actually been using it on this setting I've been putting it higher up for my son that rides most of the time and it has seemed to help especially if the toddler seats in there so again this is how it looks um, again the seats are 79 the canopies are 49 as long as they're not custom the custom ones can run 49 to 50, like 69 dollars the sidewalls are 69 the extra tray if you decide to get an extra tray if you lose this one or this one breaks it's 39 cup holders you want extra they're 19 and the basket is 59 and the nap system which i would loved to have gotten when my son was smaller because he likes to just sit in the stroller if I had known about the veer sooner, I probably would have had one, um, but the nap system is $79 and I totally think it's worth it. Again, the base model is $599. I highly recommend this wagon, especially if you are outdoorsy and you love to go to the beach. I highly recommend getting this wagon. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the handlebar for a second. Let me move it. And as you can see, it glides super easy and I'm on rough terrain. Um, it's sand and grass. And um, I wanted to show you guys, I actually have some stroller hooks here. You can buy any stroller hooks to go on here. I normally have them further apart, but this is a Jujube Be Cool and it fits perfect. And a lot of people put their backpacks over the handlebar. And I've noticed that that works okay. I have um, a Be Prepared and also a, I'm sorry, a BFF and a um, Be Right Back. In the Be Right Back, I have put the straps over this before. It just makes it a little bit more 
less accessible to the cup holders. So that's why I like the stroller hooks. So that way, if I put them here, I can also, it'll be further apart like this. But the telescoping handle does go up. And like I said, it's about 41 inches fully extended. You can pretty much put it at any height. Okay, so it goes up and down. About, and it, the highest height is about 41 inches. It has a clamp. So you can pretty much have it at the highest height. Or you can have it at the lowest height. And clamp it or you can even put it in the middle. I prefer it like right about here. My husband actually likes it all the way up, but we have noticed if you don't pull it all the way up, it's harder to fit taller cups in here. And I actually have a taller cup that I always use. So I normally have to have it up here and then um, with it down, normally you have to put it down to fold it. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter if it's up or down. Um, I folded it both ways, so it really doesn't matter. But when you go to pull this wagon, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this real quick. And when you go to pull this wagon, you just pull the levers. This is the same lever that you're gonna use when you go to fold the handle into the wagon and that's how it goes and like i said it pulls exactly like a wagon again i actually the only time we have ever pulled this wagon is at the beach if you're in sand i think that you have to pull it um, pushing it is a little bit difficult i have pushed it in the sand but pushing it in the sand it, the rear wheels seem to get a little bogged down. So if you pull it, it doesn't get stuck as much. But like I said, those front wheels do not lock. They're easy to remove. You just push the button on top. A lot of people remove their wheels before they put it in their vehicle. You can remove these easily. This just pops and then the wheel just falls right off. So that I have realized is a really good thing. I actually don't have to remove my wheels to put it in my van. I, it's a town and country Chrysler and I normally just leave the wheels on. So the rear wheels are the same thing. You just push in the middle and it comes right off. And that's how it is shipped. And they're super durable. Um, I believe they're polyurethane and you do not need all-terrain wheels or anything like that for it. These are all-terrain wheels. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to fold up the veer. So that way you can see how small it is and how tall it is. And I'll ex show you how I lift it and stuff like that. So that way you can decide if you'd like to get one too. Okay. So this is my 52 inch six year old. He is 70 pounds. When we got the Veer, he was only 48 pounds and was only 40 inches. So he has grown a lot since that time. And I want to show you how he looks in here with the toddler seats. And then I'm going to show you how he looks without the toddler seats as that way, if you have a bigger kiddo, um, like I said, he is 70 pounds. It still pushes amazing. I could not ask for something better that pushes as good as it does in the sand, especially with him in it. So let's go ahead and put him in. Now I do have both toddler seats in here. I might have to remove one um, so he can actually put his feet in. Okay, sit down. Okay, so he. this is what he does when both toddler seats are in here. So that way I can put the tray on and then he just crosses his legs across the top. You would not be able to do this if you had two kiddos riding as you can see his feet are over here. Yeah, but try this at home. <laughs> so he again is 52 inches. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the canopy. And this again is on the higher height. Um, as you can see, he has got a little bit of room as I moved it back a little bit. So if you move the canopy back a little bit, it does give them a little bit more headroom, but I'm going to go ahead and show you, um, the spot it's supposed to go at. That way you can see that he actually like his head really hits the top of it. Um, especially with the toddler seat in there. So this is how he looks in it without the top, with the toddler, toddler seat. And I'm going to go ahead and take the toddler seat off and show you how he looks in it without the toddler seats. Okay, again, it does have a three-point harness 
we've never used the harness system. He just likes to sit and ride. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you. As you can see, there's a lot more room under there if he is not in the toddler seat. And there's also more leg space. He can fold his legs up in here. He does prefer to have his feet straight out though. He's used to riding in other wagons and he prefers his feet to be straight out. But as you can see, it almost completely covers him. Again, I cannot put the tray on with his legs on though, um, with his legs in the footwell due to his knees being in there. So again, he's 52 inches, so he is over the height limit and he is over the weight limit, but I'll go ahead and show you real quick that it pushes super easy with him in it. I can do it with one hand. I've actually pushed him through the sand in one hand. It's very smooth and if you are looking for an all-terrain wagon and you have a bigger kiddo, I highly recommend it. And even if you have babies, I highly recommend the Veer. It seems to work great for all ages. Again, he is six. Um, I've seen older kiddos in it. My friend actually has let her 14 year old sit in it. My 16 year old has actually also sat in it. And so I feel like if you need something that's all terrain, outdoors, beachy, this is the wagon for you. And if you need something for a heavier kiddo, this also might be the wagon for you. Again, the weight limit is 110 pounds, um, but they do say 55 pounds per seat. But honestly, I feel like the 110 pounds could be on either seat because he's still, it, this push is still really smooth. I use this in grocery stores. I've used it in the mall. And so, um, I'm going to go ahead and fold it up for you guys and show you how to fold it real quick. And again, you have to take off all the accessories. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to fold it. And so you guys can see how it folds. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I'm on Instagram and I'm also on Facebook. I will put my link in the video and you can message me on Instagram or on here. Okay. So... I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to fold this up. And I normally fold it up with one toddler seat on it. They say you can fold it up with both toddler seats on it, but I've noticed it's kind of too bulky to do so. So I'm just gonna show you with one toddler seat how it folds into the well. And then I'll show you that real quick and I'll show you how it stands up to fold. So first off, remove the canopies. They're the easiest things to remove, just like that literally takes two seconds. I haven't had any problems with having to remove these. I've had these about since January. I've had the Veer for just over a year, but I just got the canopies probably January. And honestly, I put them on when we go into the grocery store because he likes to not be around people too much. So he prefers to be enclosed. So again, it takes about two seconds to do that. Now, this is the part. You take the first seat with, if you have a toddler seat on here, you need to take it and it's gonna slide down into the well. Um, I do normally unbuckle the back to slide it down into there. So that way I unbuckle the strap that goes along the back and then it just kind of slides in there. And then when you put it back on, you do have to reclip it under here most of the time as it's just free floating, but this keeps and safe space in your vehicle. So then you just take the rear of the seats, go like this, and then you take the sides, fold them in, take the, I put the basket first, so that way the handlebar holds it down. It does get a little tricky doing this when the seats are in there. So as you can see, when you do that, it locks down on top, and then you can just take it and flip it up like this and it stands. It is a stand fold. And I really like the fact that you can do this because when I put it in my vehicle, I actually pick it up like this and stick it in my vehicle. Again, they say this weighs 32 pounds. When you go to lift it, it's probably closer to 35, 37, especially with the basket. Um, I did weigh it with the basket and it did say it was 37 pounds. So again, it's heavy. It is not light. 
if you don't like to lift heavy strollers, I would not recommend this. But if you don't mind it every once in a while, it's fine. I've lifted it probably hundreds of times into the back of my van by myself. And it actually will fit in the trunk of most cars, especially if you remove the wheels. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna unfold it real quick for you guys. So you guys can see how quick the unfold is. You just go like this, flip, flip, flip. And then I normally just have the seat like this and it goes right around the, the folding handle on the back and you're set to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this real quick because I hadn't talked about it yet. It is the braking system and it is a foot and only the back wheels lock. The front wheels do not lock, so just be aware of that as my son has learned that if he stands up in it while it's locked, this will lean forward. Um, so the, like I said, the back wheels do lock pretty well. And then when you go to unlock it, all you have to do is kick it and it unlocks. That is one of my favorite features of this wagon is because you can just step on it and it's locked. You don't have to reach down. It, it's really easy and it doesn't hurt your toes. I have on sandals and I'm, it's perfectly fine. So in conclusion, this is the Veer all-terrain wagon and it is $5.99 and then the accessories cost extra. So again, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or message me on Instagram. My name is Hanging with Chris. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video and there should be some more coming soon. I have a Pronto video coming out soon and I should have some sensory toy videos coming out soon. So please be on the lookout for those. And I hope you guys have a great night and thanks for hanging with Chris.